Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're over on my Celestial slash Hypergen account, which is going pretty slowly, but I just wanted to take a minute to appreciate Izold because I just made him legendary on this account because I was trying to make a um, like five heroes legendary so that I could get my ear on up a bit higher. And can I say he's just an absolute beast, really having fun with him. And I feel like not many people have really taken a good look at him. I know I hadn't personally, but the survival that he has, even at lower levels compared to your carry hero, as just that tank that you can add into your team at the lower level along with your second tank being your carry hero it is super nice so we're gonna go through that i'll go through a bit of what the account is up to and what i'm doing on this account as well um so yeah let's get into the video So I just want to start off because we don't see this account too much because it's basically waiting to get to chapter 16 and do a massive stargaze session. As you can see, I've got the 45,000 diamonds. I started saving from chapter 10, probably a little bit too early in my opinion, but hey, I said I was going to do it, so I'm doing it. The only thing I have bought is like the $1 pack and the, where is it? This one, which I think total I've gotten 18,000 diamonds. So that leaves me with another, what's that, like 20 something thousand diamonds I could have used on summons that I haven't. So, you know, like the, the account's stalling a little bit. The thing that's really annoying me is I've, I'm only up to 350 of 500 before I can start getting the signature item stones, which sucks because I thought as soon as I got here onto Mythic, I'd be flying because I'd get that freeze. Unfortunately, didn't get it because I need to wait. I need to do more summons. So we need more scrolls in events is basically the gist of it. The Euron does have full Mythic. Um, Isol does have Mythic as well. What I had been doing was, uh, so I've been using all my guild coins as soon as I started unlocking um, the Mythic gear in this shop to buy them. I've also bought two pieces from the Arcane Labyrinth at the 40% discount. Now, I hadn't actually paid attention to these in a long time. So I didn't know that... You get mythic gear at, like I, I'm an I'm a noob. I didn't like it just randomly popped up and I was like sweet. So I bought two pieces from there for a forty percent discount. I'm like I'm saving my diamonds, but dude, I need some upgrades. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to summon. So I did splurge on that. Got the mace for this guy and also got uh, I think it was the chest piece for this guy. The, the other three pieces I bought from the guild shop. So the account's doing not bad. But now we'll jump into Izold. So. This guy is absolutely wicked. I can't wait to get his signature item either because he becomes just even better with that. So we're going to go through the skills. If you've seen the skills, I'll leave a timestamp. You can skip it um, and then just go on to the playtesting and stuff like that. So Izold uses, utilizes a powerful chemical agent that immediately restores 50% of the health he's already lost while also increasing his haste by 20 points and attack rating by 35. So this is the great thing about him as a tank. He can also do some decent, decent damage, which is really nice. The haste increase is also nice when we look at his second ability, which has a stun effect, which, you know, giving the haste, you get around to stuff quicker. So it's really, really nice. So the second ability, when Izold's health drops uh, is greater than 30%, he, he will use a Noxious Gas ability, dealing damage equal to 3% of his own health um, in damage to nearby enemies. Now, I'm pretty sure this is per second. I'm not 100% sure because it doesn't state it, but it's like it's just a continuous aura that keeps ticking AoE damage. So I'm pretty sure it's a second. Maybe less, maybe more. Um, we'll, we'll call it a second. Stay there. Noxious Gas also causes Izol to receive damage equal to 1% of his own health as damage. So he's losing 1%. They're losing 3%. It's still a win. He's got other skills where he regenerates anyway. So it doesn't matter. Level 2 upgrade for this one is what makes it amazing. A Noxious Explosion occurs every 6 seconds, dealing 190% damage to nearby enemies, leaving them stunned for 3 seconds. So it's an AoE stun for 3 seconds. Now, because I'm using Euron on this account, this works really well. I can put Euron like in the back middle, put him in the front, like a Roseline or a Tassie or something in the other front spot, just something that'll just hopefully survive. And then Euron will drag the 3 enemies in if the top or bottom has a... Um, has a melee hero, he'll end up dragging four enemies in, and then it just goes straight into this guy's AoE stun, and it's really nice. On top of that, if he uses this AoE stun just before he uses his ultimate, he'll use his ultimate and then use it straight away again, which basically makes it to like a six second lockout for the enemies as an AoE. It's really, really nice. Then he's got eyes old charges into a single enemy target, stunning them and knocking them backwards, finally stabbing the enemy with his needle, for 190% damage. 
It's really nice. It's another little CC that he has for a single target. Super nice, can be really clutch at times. And then the thing that really makes him amazing, in my opinion, is this ability. Hyperdermic healing, Isolde injects himself, restoring 16% of the health that he's already lost per second over eight seconds. And as you can see, like once you get him to 240, it's going to be restore 20% uh, of the lost uh, health per second. So that's lost health, not max health. So the lower he is, the more healing he gets. But if he's at 50%, He's still going to be getting 8% per second. Obviously, it, it trickles down as he gets higher. But that's the fantastic thing about this guy. And with his signature item, it actually activates this ability when he uses his ultimate. So you're guaranteed to get it. The one issue that I've found with this ability is that it's a it's a slow anim as you can see him doing it in the background there. It's a very slow animation and he gets interrupted a lot. And that's the big issue with him for me at the moment. So once he gets his uh, signature item and we can unlock that this ability activates it, it's gonna be really, really nice because then you won't have that same issue. You'll just go instantly regain 50% of what you've lost and then go back into that just regeneration mode, which is absolutely sick. So I can't wait for that, but this ability, he can, um, like I've had fights where he's got like a Savius who normally just destroys everyone and a Brutus both attacking him and he can just basically just heal through it, just deal with it. As long as this is up, he can just deal with it. If he gets a little bit too low, he sometimes ultimates, gets himself that little bit extra and then hopefully he can needle again. But on top of that, he also has the stun, which is buying him time to inject the needle. It's just all really nice. So let's get into some testing. So it was only this morning that I actually got my, who was it? I think it was the totem dude to level one, what was it? 140, sorry, which allowed me to get Iron to 161. So hopefully we can clear a stage. But what I want to do here is just take a second to appreciate this. Um, I just have to mix my team around a lot to try and find something that works. Um, let's go with that. I'm just putting Rowan there so the potions hit more people. I've been playing around with the Wilder support, obviously using the Mahira, but this is sort of what I have to do for this one because I need those potions because it's just the damage is getting a little bit... He got nuked. <laughs> he got nuked. <laughs> Let's try again because he's got to shine. He's got to shine here. Maybe if we do this, then he'll run up. Okay, he's, get, he's getting hit way too hard. Absolutely way too hard. Maybe we need that Mihira to try it. I don't know what we can do. I like, I've been pushing this one really hard. So we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Okay, so I had to play around with the team a little bit, but that worked perfectly because we really get to see him shine in this one. As you can see, he drew them in and then he's got them all stunned, which is really nice. Um, then Iron gets his ult, which is nice as well. He stuns again, then pops his ultimate, gives himself that haste buff. And then once again, he popped the stun straight after he used his ultimate, which is really nice. We got lucky here um, with Iron surviving for a little bit. Ult again. Then Iron is going to get his ultimate, which is really lucky to help kill that guy. But we've got the stun again, and then he does his combo stun again. And then this is where he really shines. As I said, he just he just survives, especially in a 1v1. He um, Because he has that knock knockback stun ability, and then he also has his AoE stun, he's just locking this guy out forever. And as you can see, his health regeneration is ridiculous. And the massive combo he does with that haste buff is just so nice. Like, he's going to do that. He's going to stun now. He's going to do his big combo. Then he's going to hit him up again, and it's just, I absolutely love it. And this is him only at 240. This is a stage where normally a 240 legendary hero would not be carrying, but he can do it. It's so nice. So let's collect loot. I don't think I've been stuck there for long. Yeah. Actually, legendary is probably what my drops are at the moment. So let's try again. I don't know if we're going to get too far with this because once again, we might jump to tower because this is pretty tough. And spider chick is really annoying for him if she CCs him and slows him and all that stuff. So we'll have to see how we go here. Um, let's just let's just leave it and see what happens. The K source is going to be annoying. I may have to put Iron back middle so that he can pull the K source in and slow him down a bit. Oh, if we had my hero's ult there, it would have been nice. Just depends on if he can survive the Brutus um, spin. He did inject there. Oh, didn't quite get it. He, ne he needs to get that health roll on a bit faster. So what I might do is I might try this um, with that. Actually, I kind of want to put him back so he doesn't get the burst at the start, especially from the spider chick. So this way he can stun. Got the stun off. He hasn't injected yet. That's the problem. Too slow on the injection. Uh, okay. We're dead. Rip. Once again, like I said, we, we, we are so far extended on the uh, on the account for progress that it's going to be tough, but we'll see how we go. Oh, he went to the wrong enemy. That sucks. That really sucks. 
Uh, I don't think he's going to do anything. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. We've got the stun. Inject. Nah, nah, not going to happen. All right, we'll be back in a sec. I'll try a couple times, and then we might just jump into the tower. Okay, so that took about 10 minutes, but we finally got there. And once again, shows his utility. This is amazing. Let's let's go. Like I, it, like, I thought I was no chance of getting this, and then it just eventually worked. As you can see, we get that AoE stun, which is super nice. Knocks them up, gets his ult, goes back to full. Um, goes back to his combo. The the ultimate from a hero was really nice there. I thought we were dead here because we all grouped up and the Brutus was ready to spin. He spins, but as you can see, he just he just keeps regaining that health with that um, that injection, and it's so nice. And just survives, goes up there, stuns the last guy, gets it done. We were lucky with Iron getting some dodges as well against the Brutus, but hey, sometimes you need a bit of RNG. So I'm pumped we got through that stage. That's good. We're onto a boss. Yes, we were struggling on non-boss stages. Another Brutus, so we're pretty much boned. We'll do a couple tries here, but um, I I'm not liking our chances. So let's just leave the team as is, see what we can do. See what we can do. Maybe we've got to suck the Brutus in and try and beat him first. I don't know. Very unsure. Uh, let's see. Okay, he got his ult. It's going to be about... Hopefully the Brutus, yes. The Brutus spun on him. That's good. Okay, that kind of sucks. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Okay, let's try again. Um, it's it's just a matter of um, timing with his injection, whether he gets it up at the right time. Obviously, with skill ups, it's going to be nicer. And once again, with the with the signature item, it's going to be incredibly nice. But um, okay, okay. He oh, I thought he was going to survive. He got knocked back there. I thought that was going to be a lead into him soloing the enemy team because the Brutus would have spun not on him and he would have got topped. But uh, let's try. It. Let's just try this one more time. I'm not going to fiddle around too much. Uh, got some decent damage coming to that. As you can see, the Brutus is spinning on him. He's still surviving. Got, we got the mind control, which is nice. He's injected, so he's healing up again. Ah, oh, he just got hit. Just got hit. That was very close. But once again, if I had this guy to 141, I feel like he'd just be a lot better because those stat increases from those um, the dust level ups are really nice. But let's go. Come on. Surely we can. Pop, pop the British shield is all I really need. No, nah, okay. We're, we're going to stop campaign there. Like I said, we are very far extended on campaign at the moment. Hoping we can get a bit further. While we're on the topic of this account, which we're not on the topic, we're on the topic of eyes old, but I just want to say where we're at here. So over here in the guild hunt, we're not doing too bad. Um, I only did one, whoops. As you can see here, we're doing uh, 10 million damage, which is not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that where this account's at. This one, we're creeping up towards 5 million damage. Um, if you see me down here, creeping up to that 5, getting close. And also in the Twisted Realm, we actually managed to get into gold uh, 4. So pretty pumped with that, just using this team here. So, you know, I'll take it. Um, but if we jump over back into the King's Tower, we'll see if we can get a couple more demonstrations of him. We're pretty far extended here as well, and that's the problem with trying to push one of these new accounts. It's hard to do this type of content, but let's see. Let's see. Let's go. I do like the monkey. Maybe we'll go the Lycan for the haste against this. Um, and maybe we'll just do... We'll do, we'll do, do um, okay, let's do this combo. Maybe we'll go the Lawson. I, I'm liking the link. I'm liking the link because then we can just pull enemies in, pull the blender in, get some good damage, and then also pump a little bit into the Brutus. Actually, I put, should put Lawson in the front. Oh, no, here we go. Nice. Once he gets that little bit of breathing space to inject, it's uh, it's pretty good. Oh, he's going to die. Damn it, I thought we had it. It's getting cocky too soon. We'll go another crack. But yeah, like really, this Izol dude, if, you, if you've got copies of him... And you're like you're looking for something to build in Graveborn. I'd really give him a try. I'm not sure what he's like end game. If anyone's tested him, sort of end game, let me know. But at this stage, he's absolutely fantastic. Just as like when when you're when you've obviously got your carry hero that's getting out leveled, and then you're looking that for that second tank to just sort of help survive and stuff like that. He's really good. I don't know whether it's because I'm using Euron. I have a bit of synergy because I can group enemies up and um, get the AOE to happen. But whatever it is, it's working, and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm pretty happy. There you go, got the stun. And and with the Mahira, man, I love them here. I'm so pumped for this account. I'm still tempted when we go to the big um to do the big stargaze. I'm tempted to go for um I've lost the guy's name. Zolrath. I'm tempted to go for Zolrath instead of Mahira. Because Mahira is one that I can still use 
as I push late game um, just at Elite Plus. And, I, you know, I want to fill out my roster. So I'm kind of like, if I build a Zolrath as a carry hero, that'd be fun, but I'm not sure. We're still only at about, what is it, uh, nine Stargazers. So we need to save up a little bit more before we can actually get there on this account. But, uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know. We'll just try this one more. Actually, what we can do here is, was Lawson the one getting attacked? I think he was. So we can do this, if Lawson was the one getting attacked. Yep, that way we can get her, and then we should be pretty solid here. If I was old ults, we're good. Look at him. Look at him surviving. It's fantastic. It's just like he's on 1% the whole time. It's uh, I absolutely love it. There we go. Got it. He died in the end, but man, that, that, just, that just clutch survivability from low health. Wait, let's have a look. Let's see if we can um, push. Okay. Even if we clear it, we're not going to get the stones that we need. So we might just cut it there. Um, but yeah, eyes old. Absolute beast. Test him out. He's so fun. That is going to be for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.